want more great Griffin Goods and Spirits content, well hit us up with a like, subscribe, and click that bell in order to be notified for the next family dinner. And hit us up on TikTok and Instagram for stuff like live shows, merch giveaways, and your chance to make it on Griffith Goods and Spirits. Mitchell Griffith here with Griffith Goods and Spirits, and today we've got a special guest star, an accomplished mixologist at one of the top 25 bars in the nation, Maxine's, and WA's premier drag bartender, Maserati. Mitchell? Lights, camera, and me without a stitch of makeup on? What's the gig, honey? I don't know. You tell me. What are we doing today? Well, we're doing a little bit of a tribute to Rocky Horror Picture Show. So I'm going to be making a cocktail. I'm going to make you a classic mudslide, and then I'm going to twist it up a little bit with a Rocky Horror themed mudslide. And what you got? I love it. We're doing hot poutine, bless my soul. I see you shiver with anticipation. I'm going to start off by making a mudslide, the traditional way. So what you're going to need is a little bit of vodka, a little bit of Irish cream, and then finishing it off with a little bit of coffee liqueur, okay? Don't forget about your heavy whipping cream. You're going to be using a little bit of that. If you're lactose intolerant or just don't feel like a little heavy whipping in your life, go ahead and substitute it out for some oat milk. All right, enough of me talking. That's not what you paid heat for. Let's do two ounces, okay? Two ounces of sweet, sweet vodka. Tito's here because that's what all moms drink, you know what I mean? One ounce of that sweet Irish cream. It's gonna give it that consistency that you're looking for. One ounce of this coffee liqueur. All right, now we're finishing it off with that heavy whipping cream. Just one, one ounce. Now we're gonna mix this together. Get a little ice in there. One more, one more, just to, you know, just to get it going. All right. You don't need any ice in this gig. This is just sweet, sweet mother's milk. Put a little bit of whipped cream on top. Don't be afraid. And then, finishing it off with a little bit of chocolate syrup. And then there you go. A simple mudslide for you. And that's just one small fraction. We're gonna make a twist off the mudslide. It's called the Rocky Horror Mudslide. I decided to make this drink because Rocky Horror Picture Show was how Maserati got started. There's two types of drag queens, the ones that are born on Pride and the ones that are born on Halloween. You know. Um, and also, it's a cult classic, which is two things I love. A cult, and I'm as old as a classic, so why not? So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna start with the vodka, but I decided to switch it up and get a little marshmallow smeared off in this. Do a little bit of this Bailey's Irish cream, a little bit of coffee liqueur, and we're switching it up by throwing a little bit of Frangelico in this. Why Frangelico? Because I believe every liquor cabinet should have a little bit in there. So let's start off. We're gonna do, just like the last time, two ounces of that sweet, sweet smear off. One ounce of that Irish cream. We're gonna do a half of an ounce this time of that coffee liqueur. That's really there just to wake up that chocolate in there. And we're gonna do a half ounce of Frangelico. Now let's talk about how we're rimming this glass. We're gonna put a little bit of that marshmallow fluff in there. Get a whole bottle, okay? Give it a little squeeze. Don't do too much. It looks like it's not too much, but it's just like blue eyeshadow. A little bit goes a long way. And it's just gonna fall down naturally. Don't go too crazy on it. You're gonna regret it. Okay. Then we're gonna throw in a little bit of this chocolate. Let's do some on the 
sides here. And then on the heavy whipping cream, you're gonna get, let's not forget this, because I always forget this heavy whipping cream. One ounce of heavy whipping cream. Sorry guys. She just never wants to go in sometimes. All right, let's stir it up. Now, for that whipped topping, instead of putting sugar in there, all you wanna do is throw like, maybe a fourth of a cup of marshmallow whip in there. You wanna throw a little bit of that marshmallow fluff in there. It's gonna add all the sugar, plus it's gonna have that texture of that sweet marshmallow. All right, and instead of the chocolate drizzle, let's throw a little bit of this cherry sauce on top. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Rocky Horror Mudslide. All right, ladies and gentlemen, done enough talking here. It's time for us to get a little grub on. Mitchell! I'm back. Now it's time to start our hot poutine, bless my soul. I've got a couple russet potatoes that I'm chopping up into just shoestring fry size. We don't want anything super big. We're just gonna go ahead and slice these down. And then whenever you get them small enough, we're gonna slice them in half again. And then we're gonna rinse them in some water just to get the starch off. Now we're just gonna hit these with some water, rinse them out. As you can see, the water's pretty milky colored. And we're just gonna rinse these until this water is completely clear. As you can see, our water is now perfectly clear. What I'm gonna do is sit these on a drying rack, pat them down with a little bit of paper towel, and then they'll be ready to go in the fryer. We've patted all these dry, and now we're just gonna drop them in our oil. We've got 350 degree oil going here. We're just gonna let these get a nice golden color. Our fries have gotten a beautiful golden color, and what we're gonna do now is set them in the freezer. You wanna do this for, you know, a couple hours. So whenever you add them back to the oil, it doesn't cook the outside anymore, but it'll make the inside nice and pillowy. But what we're gonna do while we're waiting on those is we're gonna start on our poutine gravy. I've got some sausage here. We're gonna add it to the pan and just go ahead and start breaking this up and cooking it down because it's gonna give us some great flavor to our gravy. Our sausage is ready to go. And what we're gonna do is just move this over into a bowl and let it rest for a little bit while we're finishing up the gravy in the same pan. We're gonna be making a basic roux here to start off. I'm adding four tablespoons of butter. We're just gonna mix this around. We've got some good fond on the bottom of this pot, which is all these nice little burnt bits down here. We're just gonna mix this around until our butter is completely melted. We're gonna scrape up a little bit of this fond as well. Here is the perfect cheat code to any roux. What I'm gonna do is add a shallot in here and three cloves of minced garlic. And what this is gonna do is it's actually gonna help your flour break down and not be clumpy whenever you're adding it to your roux. We're just gonna get this some nice color on it. And as those are getting a nice little saute, I'm gonna add in three fourths of a cup of flour mix it all in and then we're going to add in two cups of beef broth mix this around and then we're going to add in four ounces of our red wine what i'm using here today is a merlot so i want to get a little bit of some sweet flavors into our brown gravy as well and then i'm going to add in a few stalks of rosemary we're just going to go ahead and let this simmer down while we're waiting on our french fries to cool off in the freezer. I almost forgot one of the most important parts. I'm gonna add in just three ounces of soy sauce in here. It's gonna give it some good flavor and a little bit of saltiness. We're gonna hit this with some salt and pepper. While the gravy's bubbling away, what we're gonna do is I've got some thick cut bacon here. 
just gonna slice this into about half inch chunks. We're gonna toss this in a pan and we're gonna fry this up to go on top of our poutine. As you can see, our bacon is coming together nicely. It's almost to the point where it's nice and crispy. We're adding in our fries that have been in the freezer and getting those cooked up. We dropped our oil temperature to right at 325 so that they'll cook through thoroughly. And then we're gonna fry an egg right here and everything will be ready right after that's done. All right. All right, so we just pulled all of our French fries. They're perfectly cooked, golden brown. And right after you pull them out of the oil, you wanna make sure and hit them with a decent amount of salt. You wanna make sure that these are nice seasoned up. We're gonna give these a nice little toss. There we go, all about the show. And then it's time for us to plate up our poutine. Why don't you stay for the night? Or maybe a bite. I could show you my favorite obsession. Poutine's all about layers. So we're gonna do a layer of french fries here on the bottom, right there. We're gonna do a layer of our cheese curds right on top here. Then we're gonna do what, a little layer of blue cheese crumbles as well. This allows this to be just like nice and melty. I've got some nice aged blueberry cheddar as well. They're gonna drop on top of those fries because you can't ever have enough cheese. We're then gonna hit this with another layer of fries on top there. We're gonna hit it with, again, a little bit of blue cheese. We're gonna put our beautiful squeaky cheese curds right up on top there. And then we're gonna do some of our little bits of sausage on here. Whoop. We're gonna add on some of our thick cut bacon there, a fried egg going right on top there. Perfect. Then the most important part, we've got our rosemary brown gravy and we're just gonna add this all over. Got to make sure it hits all those cheese curds so that they can melt down. Beautiful. Some chives to sprinkle on there. Add a pop of color to your beautiful breakfast poutine. Got our hot poutine, bless my soul. Rocky Horror Mudslide here. A match made in heaven. Mm. Now you're ready for family dinner. <laughs> A premiere. Freddy, Freddy, wait. <laughs> you want to put it, I just realized there was no heavy whipping cream in this. <laughs> now, it's time to start on the hot poutine. Bless your soul. Bless my soul. 